everyone and welcome back to my channel today let me take you guys on a tour through Carrefour Market Lanake it's a Belgian supermarket which really represents what people in Belgium like to eat and what we like to prepare so when we entered the store, we first passed by the section of the fresh vegetables and fruits. This is a mix of um, Belgian vegetables as well as important ones from all over the world and tons and tons of fruit. Belgian people like to eat lots of vegetables with their meals, especially at dinner. So here we have a ton of variety of tomatoes, we have bell peppers, we have um, zucchini, carrots, uh, parsnips, broccoli, ev then of course we have some seasonal foods as well like these watermelons. I just love them. I used to dislike them but for now I do love them. Then we also have some peaches which are only available during summertime. Carrefour Market likes to work with seasonal produce to ensure freshness and also local products so that's why we don't always have the same uh, assortment of fruits uh, available. There's also nectarines, apricots, avocados, cherries which are in season now, they're from Belgium. We also have our really really famous strawberries, they are delicious. Then there's melons which and apples of course which are really cheap and delicious here. We also have um, different kinds of citrus fruits, again grapes, um, pineapple, passion fruit, um, mangoes, pomegranate, bananas, they're also delicious and many people eat them. Yeah, so I ended up buying some watermelon after all. Apart from our selection of uh, fresh fruits and vegetables, we also have uh, pre-packaged vegetables and fruit, which are really convenient when you want to make a quick dinner. And below there, there's uh, tons of salads and wraps and everything. Supermarkets here usually also have a selection of pastries. Belgian people love pastries and especially fruit pies are super famous here. As you can see, we have strawberry pies, we have chocolate ones, multiple fruits, uh, cherry pies, uh, apple pies, and they're actually quite reasonable. Like one big pie might cost you like maybe 10 euros. And above there, there's uh, smaller pastries filled with cream. And you can even buy like one piece of pie. Of course, you also have have traditional bakery there there's even more variety of pies and also we've got our famous crepes over here which are already made and super delicious next up is one of the most important foods tables for Belgian people and that is bread um, Belgian people love their bread and we actually like it when it's a little bit crispy outside but it's nice and soft on the inside. As you can see we have different types of bread buns which are all um, plain. Uh, we usually put some type of um, meat or uh, cheese in between. We also have our croissants and our uh, pain au chocolat which people like to eat during the weekend for example. Um, Belgian people eat bread mostly for um, breakfast and for lunch. They combine it with fresh fruits or um, with some chocolate, with milk or um, juices and it's just something we love and we need. There are many many types of breads. We have white, we have whole wheat, we have rye bread, uh, everything. I especially miss bread in Japan because there's only white fluffy bread available there and I don't really like that. <laughs> Here's one of my lovely colleagues working at the wine department. Um, yeah, I don't really know much about wine, but this is rosé and people like to drink it, apparently. <laughs> Otherwise, we wouldn't have this big of a variety. Now we've arrived at what we like to call the charcuterie or the butcher's shop. Here you can see all of the, of the meats and cheeses that we Belgians um, put in slices on our bread or in between our bread. Yeah. Hello! Hello! Um, geef mij maar eens een 100 gram um, filet de sax, alsjeblieft. <laughs> mag ik die doodsnijden? Ja, mag ja. Moet je dat aangaan? Ja, ja, doe maar. <laughs> so here you can see how my colleague slices the meat straight from the, I don't know how that's called, like big piece of meat. So it's all really fresh and tasty and um, yeah, many many people love this in Belgium. All of the different kinds of meat are um, grouped together 
by which type of meat they are and also what animal they come from. So sausages are all together with other types of sausages. Then we have all the meat that comes from um, cows, the turkeys, pork and chicken together too. That was it actually? Yeah, that was it, thank you. Then after completing your order, um, the employee will um, wrap your meat and uh, package it so it can be scanned um, at the checkout. Thank you Elle! <laughs> bye bye! <laughs> Next to the butchery, there's another row of, uh, of refrigerators and this time there's um, lots of vegetarian options as well as vegan ones like we have vegan imitation meats, veggie burgers, veggie um, everything. I really love to eat those because they're really tasty and healthy. Next to the vegetarian options uh, there's first a selection of chicken meats in prepared in different ways. We have chicken breast, um, chicken cutlets, uh, chicken rolls, uh, minced meats, uh, whole chickens that you can eat and also there's turkey. Belgian people also <laughs> love to eat um, beef for dinner um, but there's one difference with Japanese people. Belgian people generally prefer lean meats so not a lot of fat, beautiful um, pieces of steak. Uh, as you can see here, there's not a lot of fatty parts. This is a Chateau Briand, if I'm not mistaken. We also have like completely fat-free um, steaks that are very tender and this is min some kind of um, cut up uh, beef that we use for stews. Um, yeah, then there's the pepper variation, the one with um, garlic butter. As you can see, it's pretty different from what they sell in um, Japanese supermarkets. Hey, Donny! Hey, Donny! What are you going to do? We're going to do it. Opruim. Oh, yeah. Can we push it? Yeah. It is done for the Oh, that's good. Tomorrow is as you're going to use it. So, yeah. The Kagalima Zeg is also in Japan. Otskale Sama. Oh, hey, Marilou! Hey, that's Laura. <laughs> How goes it? Good, good. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Say, what is actually your favorite snoepje from België? What you echt zou missen als je naar het buitenland gaat? Ja. Ik weet nu niet of dat type is. Wat is dit? Deze. Wat zijn er dat? Toffees. Oh ja, dat heb ik nog nooit gezien daar in het buitenland. Nee, inderdaad. Moet je proeven, hoor. Zal ik doen. In the same aisle where Mailu recommended me some of her favorite candy, there's also my favorite candy. That's especially the Belgian chocolate from Cote d'Or. It's so tasty. I loved especially the milk variation, but there's also a black a pure one with nuts, um, with caramel. We've got a, a thin version. There's also Gala Chocolat, which is really tasty. And we have many, many different types of it. Also with Pradine taste and... Uh, even got Swiss chocolate. Um, these are also one of my recommendations, the Bouchers. Uh, we've got Kafu chocolate. So yeah, you can see there's a pretty big um, selection of chocolates available. Would you have expected anything else living in Belgium, <laughs> the country of chocolate? Belgian children also like to eat um, some type of cookies uh, during breaks in between school. Of course, they won't always eat cookies, they also get fruit, but sometimes um, they're allowed a treat. This one's especially the Lulu Bears are uh, cookies that have been around for a long, long time and I used to eat it always when I was a little kid. There's also these uh, mini BN cookies with some strawberry jelly in between and they're also very tasty. Apart from those more unhealthy food choices, we also have some really Belgian staples like uh, all kinds of flour for making bread or um, other types of uh, foods. Then we have um, apple puree baking um, supplies because Belgian people usually have an oven at home and like to bake stuff, uh, cookies, cakes, pies, um, make dishes, oven dishes at home. Um, there's pud pudding um, and decoration for uh, finishing your cake. Then on the other side we have um, also staple goods like ketchup, mayonnaise, um, mustard, 
barbecue sauce, cocktail sauce, all kinds of um, sauces to dip your food in. Uh, also, we have many, many sorts of spices, as you can see, which are nicely lined up. And if we go to the next aisle, um, here we have a Belgian variety of what you could call noodles. <laughs> These are Aiki noodles, cup noodles. Um, they retail for like one to two euros. And we also have um, different types which are more like spaghetti. Um, they are also really tasty actually. Yeah, as you can see, these are some of the famous brands in Belgium, like Miracoli. And there's a huge choice of uh, dried pasta as well. We do not only have um, like normal white spaghetti, but we also have the whole wheat variety, as you can see here, um, from Supri. They're a little bit more healthy and they keep you full for longer. Since there's so much choice for dried pasta, you should also have a lot of choice for sauce, right? Here above you can see some types of pesto we have and uh, all the different kinds of sauces. Um, these are already made and just need to be heated up. But there are also a lot of Belgian people who just make their sauce from scratch. And Belgian people do eat rice, as you can see. Um, they are not really big packages, like most of the time one kilogram is the biggest um, type you can buy. And it's mostly rice from Thailand, but it's like less tasty, I would say. Another thing Belgium is famous for are waffles. As you can see here, there's so much choice. You've got your yes, uh, sugar waffles, you've got vanilla waffles which are soft. These ones are my boyfriend's favorite actually. <laughs> Although he does prefer the ones they sell at Colorado. Um, yeah, and on the other side you can see we have tons of um, cereals. Belgian people usually eat bread in the morning, but there's also people who love to eat cereal. I eat cereal too sometimes, mostly during the weekend, and especially this one is my favorite. Some type of chocolate granola. <laughs> yeah, Kellogg's is the um, most famous brand, I would say. And then apart from um, meat or cheeses, we also put spreads on our bread, like uh, syrup, honey, chocolate paste, Nutella is really famous and very affordable actually in Belgium. <laughs> um, there's also other brands and we also like to put jam or um, like marmalade. Okay, so we covered already two of Belgium's most famous foods, namely waffles and chocolate, but let's not forget about beer. I'm personally not the biggest fan of beer, but it's something that's very typical for Belgium culture. Um, there are many, many, many choices and I don't know a lot about it. There's like brown beer, you have blonde beer, uh, beer mixed with fruits or with cherries. Actually, that one I do like. Um, and there's also uh, types of beer from neighboring countries such as, such as Germany or from um, the Netherlands, even some French beer. Yeah, as you can see, there's a huge selection available. Now we finally reached the other side of the store and this side of the store is uh, dedicated uh, solely to dairy products. Cheese, um, soft cheeses, hard cheeses, rasp cheese, uh, spreadable cheeses. Uh, you can see there's um, tons of it, Swiss cheese, Belgian, Italian. Uh, most cheese is actually very affordable. Um, only the spaghetti cheeses like rasp cheese can be a little bit pricey and Italian parmesan for example. Mozzarella on the other hand is um, quite cheap and uh, the Galbani um, brand is very tasty. Next to that we have uh, creams, whipped creams, uh, types of yogurt. We have plant-based yogurt. These ones from uh, Alpro Soya are very tasty. I love to eat them. And then uh, there's also lactose-free varieties. Here's my lovely colleague again. Elise, what's, what is your favorite toetje van hier? My favorite toetje is... Paula. Paula? Serious? The pudding. The pudding. Grappig. <laughs> I saved the best for last because lastly we have our Belgian fries. They're so delicious and every single Belgian person likes to eat them. And we've arrived at the checkout. <laughs> I took you through most of the store. I could have shown you some other aisles as well, but then this video would have become like 30 minutes. <laughs> um, basically, you just put the things you would like to buy on this transporter belt, I guess, and uh, wait until it's your turn. Then the uh, cashier will 
check out your items for you and you will put your um, your food stuff in your um, bag by yourself as you can see here uh, they're very very friendly people they like to talk a little bit with you and uh, are very helpful yeah I hope you like this video and uh, you now have an idea of what Belgian food looks like